We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come out here and talk about this story that's going viral today. Now once again, honey, another airline is getting drug up and down social media. And this is the second time in less than two months that United Airlines is getting drugged. So what's going on right now is this. Basically, there was a video that appeared on Twitter today. And we see an Asian gentleman. People are saying that he's a doctor and that he supposedly had to get to a hospital to get to, you know, his patients. I don't know how true that is, but that's what folks are saying. Basically, the flight was overbooked. And so from what I'm hearing, the news media is trying to keep this hush, but from what I'm hearing, they needed to fly four of their own employees from United down to Louisville, Kentucky. And because there wasn't enough room, they wanted the passengers to basically give up their seats. And when nobody volunteered to give up their seats, I don't know how they made the choice. I don't know how they made the decision. I don't know if it was randomly, but they asked the Asian man to basically leave and get off the plane. The Asian man refused. He said that he's a doctor or whatever, and he had to get to the hospital. Um, so he refused. And at that point, they called airport security. Airport security came onto the plane and basically drug this man out of his seat. He ended up hitting his face and his face was bleeding. This whole situation is just crazy. And if that's not crazy enough, he ended up running back onto the plane, you know, saying that he had to get home. Then he was screaming that he wanted to kill himself. He wanted to commit suicide. The whole situation is a hot damn mess, honey. Go ahead and watch these clips and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. You may have seen uh, some cell phone video today, this video of a United Airlines passenger being forcibly removed from a plane. It happened last night. This was aboard flight 3411 from Chicago to Louisville. The flight was overbooked. And then United, once folks were on board, was looking for volunteers to give up a seat. Well, when they didn't get the needed volunteers, the airline in a statement said they were forced into a, an involuntary deboarding situation. That system, we're told, uh, chooses a person or persons to leave the flight for compensation. A spokesman for United, Charlie Hobart, says the man in the video you see there was one of those chosen, but that man refused to leave. Remember, people had already been put on the plane. They were boarded in their seats. Well, Hobart said the next step, according to the airline's protocol, was then to involve the authorities. This understandably getting a lot of attention today. We have just received a new response in from United, from Oscar Munoz, who's the CEO of the airline, saying, quote, this is an upsetting event to all of us here at United. I apologize for having to reaccommodate these customers. Our team is moving with a sense of urgency to work with the authorities and conduct our own detailed review of what happened. We are also reaching out to this passenger to talk directly to him and further address and resolve this situation. <laughs>
All right, so you guys just saw the news clips. Like I said, the whole situation is just really sad. And as somebody who literally flies every month, you know, I try not to fly with United. I don't like their service anyways, but I do fly literally every month. I'm back and forth constantly between LA and Minneapolis. You know, I understand things happen, but I never understood the whole overbook situation. You have an X amount of seats, and if everybody has paid their money for their seat, they have a right to get to their destination. And it's not fair to sit here and sell extra tickets in the event that some people may cancel and then y'all can keep their money and then not reimburse them back their money plus resell the ticket to somebody else. And a lot of times that's what happens on these airlines is that they're selling extra tickets in the event that somebody cancels. But then what happens is that all of a sudden nobody cancels and now you have all these extra people getting ready to fly on the same day. You know, so the whole situation is crazy. And for what some of the passengers were saying on Twitter, they were stating that this was a situation where they were trying to fly four of their own employees in to um, Louisville, Kentucky. And my thing is this, if that's what they were trying to do, they should have got them their own private, you know, flight or booked them on another airlines. It's not okay to sit here and basically put employees who, who are not paying for anything on a flight for free over customers who paid their money days, weeks, months in advance to get to their destination. You know, United Airlines, they try to issue an apology and that's fine and dandy, but a lot of these airlines really need to get it together. It's like, this just makes no sense. There's no reason for somebody to be drugged out of their seat, you know what I'm saying, and then have their head hit and have them bleeding and screaming. Like, it, I mean, it's, it's almost like what the hell is going on in this world today? It's like everything is getting so crazy and it's getting so militarized. You know, I just don't get that. You know, it's bad enough we're sitting here dealing with the dang on war now that's going on in Syria. You know, Trump sat there and, you know, helped to blow that situation up. But again, a lot of folks are really upset and concerned with that. But one thing I will tell y'all about that situation, because I'm not going to get into it, this is not a political channel, is, you know, follow the oil, okay? Follow the oil, and when you follow the oil trail and the pipelines, it'll lead you to why we're in Syria right now. It's a lot bigger than people being gassed and twin babies being killed and, you know, dead children, which, you know, is very disturbing and very sad, but it's a lot bigger than that. Don't let the media fool you. Do your own research. So me, personally, I'm just tired of just all the, the craziness that's going on in the world that you can't even pay for your own flight without being attacked and drugged off of the flight like you're a criminal. You you know, then on top of what's going on overseas, it's just really, really just disheartening and it's, it's sickening. It really is. But anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning this viral story that went viral all over social media, concerning this Asian man getting pulled off of this United Airlines plane. Do you feel like United Airlines had the right to pull him off of the plane in the manner they did because, you know, he refused to get up? Or do you feel like United Airlines should be held accountable for doing what they did because it just wasn't okay and it was definitely uncalled for? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.